everyone, welcome back. Well, today I'm going to show you a super cool and simple science experiment called Cloud in a Bottle. But since it's October, we are going to make it spooky. So to make it Halloween themed, I drew a little ghost face on here just with a Sharpie. So now we are talking ghost in a bottle. So let's go ahead and let's jump right in. You will need a bottle, you will need an air pump, a rubber stopper, and you will also need some sort of rubbing alcohol. Now we will use these items to make a cloud inside this bottle by using a process called condensation. Now clouds actually form when water vapor in the air cools and turns back into tiny water droplets. And we are going to do that process inside the bottle. So first what we wanna do is we want to put the alcohol in the bottle. Now this is acting in place of water. So you could do water, it's just not quite as dramatic. So it doesn't really matter how much you put in, but enough that you want to swirl, enough that you can swirl around the bottle to actually see that moving in there. Okay, so you wanna swirl that in. Again, this is acting as the water. Now we want to go ahead and we want to pump air into the bottle. Now when we pump the air in, the pressure and temperature will increase inside the bottle. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can use, you know, if you don't have a rubber stopper, you can kind of get creative. I did that the first time I was doing this experiment. I was just um, finding a cork actually, and I just poked a hole in a cork and it worked just as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you have to hold it tight. Okay, so you want it to get pretty hard so you can tell that their air pressure is a lot higher. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off the top. When we do that, the pressure will drop and the temperature will cool rapidly, causing condensation to occur. And this is going to make a ghost appear. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Ghost in a bottle, isn't that great? And what's so cool about this experiment is it is pretty foolproof. So this is probably my favorite experiment to actually do in front of kids for science lessons. And it's really cool because it teaches you about condensation and the ghost is great too. Um, and I just, you know, eventually will wipe this off if I wanted to just cloud in a bottle, but the ghost makes it even better. Let's do it one more time. We are going to increase that pressure again. And that is actually gonna make our little cloud go away and our little ghost go away. Okay, so let's count one, two, three. Ghosts in a bottle. It is great. Um, again, you can do this with household items. I have a fancy pump that I bought because I do this all the time, but you can kind of get away with bike pumps or anything like that, but definitely make sure you check it out so you can get a little bit more in the Halloween spirit. And eventually our weather will follow suit as well.